Hello everyone, my name is Henry and welcome to another video. Not an add-on showcase, uh, something a little bit different, something unexpected from both me and hopefully also for you. Uh, before I begin, I do have, this is my first video after like a long vacation after Christmas. Things took a lot longer than I thought they would. So I have a couple of things coming up this week, I just want to get this out of the way first. So first of all, there's going to be a new Photoshop add-on showcase for a, it was newly released, it's still fairly new so I'm still going to do it. Uh, I'm going to do a extension showcase on S Splendid probably sometime in the next few days. Hopefully this weekend, as is the time I'm recording this. Um, and I'll also be doing, hopefully this isn't like a false promise, like it's kind of been before. Um, and I'm going to try to give you guys the um, uh, cover builder showcase that I've been promising for so long. Now, the thing that I'm going to be talking about today is Adobe Story. And before I begin, I'm just going to explain it to you guys who haven't. I've... I'm on the current, uh, the Adobe Story CC page, which you can get to at story.adobe.com, uh, which gives you a brief introduction, but it's basically Adobe's uh, screenplay program. This has been there since around CS6 release, um, and it's been where it was updated for quite some time um, until 2015, when they stopped editing it. So the special thing about this, unlike all the other programs or stuff in the Adobe Creative Suite is it's actually an online system. It was made in Flash to run in the browser, but in 2015 they stopped developing it or seemingly stopped developing it with no news as to why. Adobe does that a lot. They just, you know, a lot of companies do that. They make something, they work on it, and then they suddenly drop it. Now, today on Friday, February the 3rd, or 3rd of February, whatever, announced and explained why they hadn't updated story. Uh, as they said on the front, it looks like they hadn't done anything. And that was because they were rewriting the entire thing from Flash to HTML5, which is great because Adobe is killing off Flash themselves, not just companies around them like Google killing it off, but Adobe themselves know it's antiquated technology and it needs to die. So they're not making products using Flash anymore. They're using HTML5 projects. How well this used to animate? I don't know. I don't think it used to animate. I think they program this from scratch. Now, I'm for one really excited because I've always been a fan of Adobe Story and that whole concept of doing all the script writing in the cloud. Uh, the only issue with this is a little bit less feature rich. Um, for those curious about the classic Adobe Story that you used to, it's still available until June 2017. You can go to Story Classic or Classic Story at Adobe.com uh, to access it. I believe if you've already been using it and you try to sign in here, it'll automatically redirect you to that and uh, then you have to log in again. And once you log in, you can choose try the new version, I'll bring you to the new one. Be aware, uh, I've found quite a few issues already. Uh, it only works with basic script types. Um, I had some AV scripts that doesn't seem to work and from the blog post I read, it looks to me as if Adobe is dropping a lot of their existing templates, which is unfortunate, but we'll see how things pass on. Um, as well as that, the offline application, the Air application you used to have before that allowed you to work on scripts offline is no longer a thing, which requires a lot more internet. They have said that that's something they're planning to fix. And another really exciting thing is due to this being HTML5, they have serious plans for actively working on this for the mobile side of things. I already tried it. It runs on mobile, not perfectly. It's still designed for desktop, but it does work. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop in here by pressing sign in. It's going to ask for my super secret password. I might censor this. It's not like you can see it, but I don't want you really. <sighs> Great. Great start. <laughs> oh, you got to love Adobe. Okay, there we go. I fixed it, I guess. Um, that was interesting. Yeah, so here we are. Um, now it's automatically jumped into this Norwegian project. So we're going to go ahead and create a new category. So this is the new interface. Um, really new. I like it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new project here, just or category quickly, and I'm going to call it testing. I believe these are still one thing I've been wanting. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so I remember back in the old story days. So notice this one, which is called um, school in region. There's your region lesson of the day. That is written in uppercase, and that was because the original story only allowed you to write in uppercase. It was stupid. Now it seems they've removed that. You can remove. You can write it with uppercase and lowercase letters. So that's awesome. You can be a little bit more specific um they've still got archival stuff uh, i haven't found a way to actually they used to have an old tab for archived it seems you just press this now and it shows you anything archived 
And if you want to share your documents, it's still a thing. You just manage share projects and you enter an email ID and then you press find. And then you select the project you want to share. Um, that's another thing. They're dropping the free version of story. Unfortunate, I used to actually promote Adobe story a lot with that specific thing. Like, oh, no, don't worry. You don't need to pay. It's free. It's for once and free Adobe thing, right? Exciting. Whenever something's free from Adobe, people are excited. Um, heck, check my earlier videos to literally proof for that. Um, so I think that's unfortunate, but, um, and especially considering this is rather not full feature, but then again, they've set the story classic to not die until June, 2017. So I reckon they're planning to have it pretty feature full by then. If they're planning on completely dropping something that at some ports, God damn it, are inferior are like, this is kind of inferior to the original version with the exception of this not being flash, which is always a positive. Um, I also like, I, I miss the black design of Adobe applications. Who knows? Maybe they're planning to add that as well. Um, and all that. I also, of course, miss the desktop application, but they've said it's coming. We just have to be patient for now. I'm really excited about this because I was afraid story was dying, but it was far from it. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, make a project and we're going to call it test project. And, um, it's, it's slow. I'll admit for an online project product, it should be faster, but then again, that's how it is. And then in here we can import now, unlike the last version, we cannot import anything other than ST docs, which appears to be a new format. Hopefully it's an XML format, like the last Adobe story format was, cause that allowed it to be supported by other applications like uh, Trelby, the open source um, script writer for Windows and Linux. You can also assign lists, uh, character lists, production lists, set list. Um, that's sort of old stuff. If you've used story before, a lot of stuff is still there and I believe they're planning to implement most things. But let's do the thing we're all interested in, right? Actually script writing. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna call it test script. And you notice we scrupt, yes, we're gonna write a scrupt. Can you notice we only have two choices now. We've got TV script and film script. Um, I'm assuming they're gonna add more of these. I usually do film scripts and then we only have a film template. You could also do TV script and you'd have UK screenplay and Irish TV. Are they only having UK people working on this? What happened to USA? Whatever, um, film template and just press create. I like the new interface, I'll admit. It looks better than the old one because that was outdated. Um, so here we go. Um, there we go. As I said, it's not the fastest yet. So, okay, it did change that. I noticed it said Myriad Pro, which kind of put me off a bit. Apparently you can choose between Courier City, Myriad Pro, or Minion Pro. I'd personally go for Courier because Courier is kind of the de facto standard for script writing, but then again, Myriad and Minion, like Minion especially, that's a good font for a lot of text. I don't see using Myriad Pro for scripts at all because that's like a, it's not an easily readable font for like a lot of text. Um, and you know, I remember fucking flipping, um, the original story had a lot more text options, uh, but whatever, not important. So we've got the scene heading action, character dialogue, general par parenthetical transition and shots. So we've got all those. We've got the outline like we had before, and we've got this nice and nifty find in document. We've got this text size, which you never really meddle with in a script. Uh, we've got bold, italic, underline, text color. You don't usually set text colors in script, but you know, whatever. We are in an ever-changing world. You can even change the background color. I assume that's of the text. And you can choose whether to left align it, center align it, or right align it. We've also got our usual menus, rather less featured on the file here. Save to disk, simply save it as a, um, that format we talked about earlier about inputting and stuff. We've also got save as, edit, script properties. Um, skip to the location, transmission date, Episode number, this seems to be more for like TV shows and stuff. Production number, closing title duration, script synopsis. Oh, put a synopsis in there. And notes, you know, that's the basic stuff. Uh, view, track changes toolbar, review, start tracking changes. And production, start duration, manage revisions, manage scene numbers, and manage camera shot numbers. So it's, as I said, it's early. It's really early in this development that they're even releasing this publicly. But 
its story. It's back. It's exciting nonetheless. Let's begin with a scene heading here. So, um, I'm unsure of how Adobe Story likes to format these things, um, but I'm just going to do, so let's say we do an int. So it's already suggesting things, which is awesome. That's important for a script writing program. You want it to suggest stuff. So it's going to be an interior scene and we're going to call it in a bar. And then we're going to, it's going to be, let's say it's day when they do this. And um, I, I thought, I thought Adobe labeled these automatically. What What's, Oh, uh, so that's how you assign scene, scene numbers. There we go. Okay. So that's new. I don't think they had that in a usual Adobe story because I was curious about how they assign that because you usually have them like you put it here on the side of the script and then you have the int or interior or exterior and then you have the title of the scene if you have one and then you have whether or not it's day or night. You usually don't have any more detail than that. Uh, and then we'd have action to explain the scene. So a guy enters a bar. Almost having to write the end there. And then I'll do another enter and then I'll choose a character and then we'll call this guy the guy. And then we'll automatically jump to dialogue because script programs are smart like that. And then we'll type in G. Never start a sentence like that, by the way. Uh, I wonder where I could get myself some whiskey with an exclamation mark because exclamation marks are really important and then we'll have uh, a bartender character being like I don't know it's I'm using the wrong type of thing and that didn't work god damn it I that button's not working whatever it's not like we're in oh I don't know a bar or something. I can't even spell for shit. Uh, there we go. And then there's like, you know what? Let's just um, just for the sake of it, let's do a parenthetical. Looks at. I like to do this. Not everyone does, but I just like to kind of exclaim that it's a character you're thinking of here. Looks at the guy with a grimace. Look at that grimace. There we go. I can't do it through the spell check. Let's see. Um, hell. Uh, yeah. It does look to me like they haven't implemented spell check yet. Uh, I've read a lot of Norwegian scripts, so it doesn't matter because I never had Norwegian uh, language correction, but I reckon that that's kind of important for American writers, so that's something they need to get done quickly, to be honest. Um, so with that done, let's go ahead and skip to a transition. So cut to... Yep, there we go. It suggests that. And boom, it's automatically added scene two. So that's going to be, uh, let's say that's an exterior scene. This doesn't make any sense. Funnily enough, it's suggesting the scene name. Um, we're going to suggest this to be outside a bar. And then for some reason, it's going to not be night, just to document this. And then we'll do that. So now we've got two scenes and uh, we'll have action. So the guy is outside the bar for some reason. Or actually, I should do that properly. Like that. Um, and then we'll do a character. And he'll be, that'll be the guy. It's because he had suggested it. And then we'll do, why am I suddenly outside? And just to end this off, we'll just add a parenthetic. I can't use words. Looks awkwardly at the camera and then we'll have a um, you know there's no easy way to do this I usually like to do this but it's not always easy <laughs> just do a transition and then just say the end and then no more scenes like that and I yeah there we go that's a script right test script great works looks good Retina resolution, everything like that. Um, I'm excited, to be honest here. Um, they also do have, um, if we go to schedules, uh, I believe it's that one you press. No, that's how you, what the hell? Okay. So yeah, we could, 
yeah so it's still yeah i haven't can also go to lists right here and we can do um let's say we do production and for some reason it's already something here we could say director is mr tim script supervisor is mr tom first assistant director is mr timmy second assistant director is mr tommy stage manager is mr tam even though that isn't the name and then we'll have costume supervisor is mr tammy makeup director is mr i've already had tom mr um sam and then lighting director is mr sammy save that now we can head back projects test project and then we can do an assign list production list that one done so you know you've got the you've got sort of the basics of um it also doesn't seem to be able to count pages um and also the other thing i've also noticed is um i haven't found a way to add cover pages so it doesn't seem like that is in there well so it, it's missing a lot of stuff um so i'm going to assume that the deadline for getting all the stuff we're missing in is by june 2017 where they're dropping the at this point better product than the new version especially seeing as that's still free for anyone while this is only for paying creative cloud customers or those with a specific story subscription which is 9.99 us dollars per month that price will of course be different depending on what country you're in check that in the adobe online store but you know uh, it's still exciting stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do to Adobe Story, and I'll try to make more videos covering it because I really like the product. I write a lot of scripts, so having an online solution with also offline capabilities, that's important to me, so I'm going to definitely report on that, is important. So I hope you guys also enjoyed this video on Adobe Story that I've been really excited to see return. I was literally prepared to like dance and stuff when I figured this out because I'm really excited about anything Adobe Story related. So I'm hoping they continue this trend and uh, make it even better. Uh, with that said, though, uh, this video has been long enough. So again, uh, if you're interested in that S Blended showcase, then make sure to stay subscribed. And of course, if you've subscribed for that Cover Builder showcase, that's coming. Don't you worry. It's coming. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And um, please.